top of the morning. You are watching the CAOT TV show on the WBGR Gospel Network. I'm one of your co-hosts, Lynn Pender, and I have the awesome, <laughs> dynamic Leroy McKenzie Jr. Ah, oh, man, it seems like forever. I know. We, I was, took, we, we took a week off, right? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> we needed it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2019 has started off. With the, I mean, just with a bang. Yes, so. but it's been a blessed, it's been a blessed first of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been absolutely. so many wonderful things going on, and we're really excited. We're excited about our guest today. We can't <laughs> wait to share some information. This lady here has such an awesome amazing testimony that only she can share um we can't we can't even give it to you know do credit and um just for you being here you know we really appreciate you taking the time to be here but before we jump into the interview uh we want to do a little bit of housekeeping so we want to kind of let our viewers know some Absolutely. of the great things that are going on with CAOT. We got, some, we got a lot of stuff going on yeah, this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what do you want to hit on first? Yeah, well, let's talk about the calendar first. Okay. Because we want to make sure that we that the folks get not only one, mm -hmm. not two, but three calendars. We have three <laughs> calendars this year. Yeah. So it is a special treat. We not only have a the Christian Authors on Tour calendar, we also have the Christian Also Don't Tour TV calendar, if yes, I'm not mistaken, yes. and then the sponsor calendar. Well, not the sponsor Ooh. calendar, but we have two CAOT calendars, one for the oh, ladies that's right. I'm sorry. and right, one for right, the men. Right, right, right. And so if you're looking here at the front, we actually have our February calendar <laughs> lady queen here, and it's none other than our guest today, Pam Mintz. Yes. So she is the feature featured author for the 2019 CAOT Women of Christian Authors Absolutely. on Tour, the Ladies of Christian Authors on Tour photo wall calendar. And then we have the Men of yes. Christian Authors on Absolutely. Tour photo wall calendar. And hold up, you're holding the CAOT TV show. Right. And the featured author in the CAOT TV show is it's none other than Pastor Sharon Clarkson, Clarkson. which is one of your featured authors as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, she uh, actually is. And you want me to to talk a little bit about her sure. and who she is because mm -hmm. um, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal woman. Um, and Sharon Clarkson is an author, writer, professor from the College of Southern Maryland. Clarkson holds an MBA in finance from Strayer University ah. and a B. B A, hmm, that's a new one, uh, in computer information systems from Howard University. Uh, she has over 25 years of experience in computer information technology in both the public and private sectors. Uh, in 2011, uh, she pursued her love of writing and released her first book of poetry called My Dream. Readers quickly discovered the passion Clarkson, um, Clarkson's words and the inspirational messages in each poem. Uh, in May of 2018, she released her second inspirational poetry book called My Dreams Continue, mm -hmm. which we had her. She was actually on the show last yes, year. Yes. So, um, And if you want to get more information about her, you can actually visit her website. Uh, that's www.s. Clarksonbooks.com. That's S C L A R K S O N B O O K S dot com. That's Sharon Clarkson. So yes. um, that's our featured um, featured uh, author for that we have for the calendar this year. So you want to make sure that you go pick the calendar up, pick one of the calendars up, or pick all three of them up. You can visit the Chris Christian Authors on Tour website at uh, www.christianauthorsontour.com and go on to the products and services page and mm -hmm. you'll be able to pick even pick up one of those calendars. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And the reason why we do the calendars, we want to uh, have some creative ways to feature and spotlight some of the different men and women absolutely. of God who sew into Christian Authors on Tour. And so this is your opportunity to sew into us so that we can sew into them. Absolutely. And so what a great keepsake uh, every month of the year at 
highlights a different author. And because this is the 11th year anniversary mm -hmm. of Christian Authors on Tour, we also have some photo highlights from past years. And so there's some surprises in there. Some of the <laughs> CAOT author members didn't realize that their photos were going to be included. <laughs> but there's some really cool memories that we've shared in, in, in all three of the calendars. And so we really want you, you to support that. And then this is our 2019 Seed and Good Soil Christian mm. Authors on Tour. And this is a multi-state Christian book tour. We are so excited. We are gearing up for our first scheduled tour stop in May at the National Christian yes. Writers Conference that's coming up in Hanover, Maryland. In uh, July, we will be at the Harlem Book Fair in Harlem, New York. In August, mm -hmm. God willing, we'll be in uh, St. Louis, well, right outside of St. Louis in Berkeley, Missouri, mm -hmm. with the Harvest Church. Uh -huh. And in September, God willing, we'll be at the Bean Town Jazz <laughs> Festival in, in, right outside of Boston, Massachusetts. And then in December, we are here um, in the D.C. area again at the, at the uh, Christian Writers Literary Festival, which is the second Saturday in December and that's going to be in Baltimore. And so you have five opportunities to come out, no matter where you are in the country, if you can kind of wiggle your way Absolutely. to one of Absolutely. those locations to meet different men and women of God who use writing as a tool for Christian ministry. For more information, if you want to come out to attend, all of the events are free. If you're a Christian author or a Christian publisher and you're interested in uh, vending at any of these tour sites, you can visit us online at www.christian.com authorsontour.com or give us a call at 800-929-1418. Absolutely, absolutely. That's awesome. And it's, it's so much that um, information that, that the folks will be able to gain, hopefully by coming out to one, you know, one of those events, whichever area that you may be in and be able to, um, to be able to come out. Because it's a way to kind of interact, get to know on a personal level uh, the authors. Because I've always said that, that it's, it's nothing yes. like being at an event uh, at one of these literary events and being able to have a conversation with the authors and, yes. and just talk with them because we appreciate it. I know I, know I do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And that gets us to our author of today Absolutely. that we are spotlighting and featuring. And she's no stranger to the Christian Authors on Tour family. She's actually one of our family members. She is a member of Christian Authors on Tour. And, and, and um, let me just tell you a little bit about this lady. She is a national award-winning speaker. She is a um, three-time, maybe four-time four author now, uh, radio show host, and um, a mom, you know, a grandma, grandma you know, <laughs> and, and there's so many other titles that I can add on that are just amazing just in terms of um, who you are as a woman of God. But um, I'm just going to read a little bit about her so that you can kind of connect. And she said, um, this is on a website that I found. You said, after you published your first book, you dedicated yourself to bringing your message to conferences around the world. Mm. Whether as a keynote speaker or worship leader, you helped break the boundaries that were limiting people. And you helped to get them ready to shape their future. One of the things that you also do, um, it sounds like that you are working with other authors to kind of help grow wrote them in their um, mm. uh, capacity to be better writers and to be able to present themselves in better ways. Uh, you talk about um, building connections, and then you talk about your philosophy for the future. You, you, you mentioned how we are only limited by the things that we allow to limit us. Mm -hmm. uh, the keys to success and productivity are already in our pockets. We just need someone to show us the lock and encourage us to open the door. Uh, as as an award-winning speaker and innovator, you bring new life and connection to different events and opportunities, and you encourage folks to, to reach out to you. Yes, yes. So I just want to welcome you to you. the CAOT TV show. You have two books here yes. that you wrote, but then you've been a part of several anthologies, right? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You want to talk a little bit about those and your books? Okay. Sure. Yes. So my first two books are entitled Save Single Sister Real Talk. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, you can tell the title is Woo! very, very interesting. <laughs> because when people pick the book up, they initially think it's a how-to book. Yes. But it's not. Mm. It's actually a story. Yes. It's a story about four friends and their mm. adventures being saved, 
single and trying to get a man. <laughs> and I know a lot of women that go through that. And so that book was initially released in 2012. I think you just got a whole bunch of them. Hey, Cora. Hey, Cora. Pick that up. I encourage them to. <laughs> and then it's a series. Yeah. So the second book was released in 2000. 14. Okay. And that book is April Story. Mm. So the book is continuing. Um, the anthologies that I have been a part of, the first one um, was Surge. Okay. And then the mm. second one that is going is due to be released on March 24th. All right. That one is called Set Apart and Chosen. All mm. right. And that one has sort of a special part in my heart. Okay. Because it was written after my biggest trial mm. and my biggest trial was mm. open heart surgery yes and people i don't think people realize the magnitude of what a person goes mm. through mm. Yes. when they have open heart surgery absolutely yes. and you know when i had my open heart surgery it was supposed to be three to four hours and it ended up being eight to nine Wow. Oh, wow. And so for eight to nine hours, I actually mm. had my heart outside my body. Wow. And it's known that people that have their heart outside their body for that long develop something called pump head. Mm. Whereas you can't think, you can't wow. remember, right. you have yes. issues yes. afterwards. Okay. But I know God is amazing. <laughs> 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 I remember everything. <laughs> wrote my portion to this book in a day yes. and a half. Yeah. Oh wow. And the portion of my book is entitled When God Presses Pause. Mm. Mm. Wow. And Ooh. it makes you think. Yes it does. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, yes. When God uh, presses pause. Whew. Now I'm I'm just gonna <laughs> y'all just don't she said she's had Ooh. open heart surgery, y'all. Mm. September and and se of twenty eight of twenty eighteen. September fifth. And is sitting right here yes. looking like this. Five months later. Yes. Five months that, ah. <laughs> that, ah. right yes. that, yes. mm -hmm. that yes. right there. That right there is Thank you, Lord. There's yes. nothing else that could be said about that. Yeah. You tell me there there ain't a God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I say it like that. Wow. Um I want you to talk a little bit about um the wow. and maybe a little bit different, but Ooh. talk about your your going from your first book, your mm -hmm. first two books, you writing them on your own, to doing a uh, 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 being a part of an anthology, and yeah, and the, for those that that of the um the aspiring authors, the difference in those two because a lot of people think well you know being a part of an anthology or I can write a book. What what's the difference or what was the difference for you in being able to do the do those two? Yeah. Good question. So when I wrote the first book, interestingly enough, I always wanted to write a book, mm. but never knew what I wanted to write about. Mm. Okay. So when I set out to write write the first book, I had no clue. And I went mm. to the publisher and I said, I don't know. I don't think this is going to work. Because <laughs> my brain is all over the place. <laughs> I can't put a word on paper. I got this subject, that subject, this subject, A subject, yes. D subject. And it was just crazy. Yes. And he said, pray about it. Yes. Mm. So I went to God and prayed about it. Yes. And it took him some time. But he said, write what mm. you know. Mm. Yes. And what did I know? Nothing better but to be saved, or well, trying to be saved, <laughs> and then being single, and I'm definitely a sister. Amen. <laughs> so when I came up with the book, mm. it was um, interesting yes. because when you write your book by yourself, you have to know who your target audience is. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you write by yourself, you have to be sure of that. Wow. Yes. And for that book, the audience was saved single women, or at least women who were trying to mm. be saved and yes. were single. Yes. But when it was time to be part of an anthology or a collaboration, mm. you have a certain subject that you must stay within. Then, yeah. okay. So you're okay. given the subject, yeah. and based on what God gives you, because I'm a God writer, mm. so I write what God says. Yes. So when I wrote for that book, and it was set apart and chosen. I was like, what am I set apart and chosen for? Because I done been through so many things, Jesus. What, mm. what you want me to specifically write about? <laughs> and then he started talking, and he was like, well, I've been pressing pause in your life a long time. Wow. And you've gotten through every pause. Every time I press pause, you didn't stop. 
You yeah. kept going, even though I was, I gave you all the tools to get through, but I want you to write about that. Mm. So when the difference is when you write by yourself, you're writing for a subject and you must know your target audience mm -hmm. and it's your um, subject. Right. But when you write for an anthology or a collaboration, they give you your subject and okay. you have to hone in. Yes. And then you're limited on your word, amount of words. Right. Okay. So I think for this one, it was like 3,000 words. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when you write for yourself, I mean, you can write mm -hmm. as much as you can get out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and that's what I usually, uh -huh. well, with, um, with my authors that that I work with they because they'll ask well do it does do I have to have a certain number of chapters or do mm -hmm. I have to I said no <laughs> you write so that until you have what yes. you say out you want to yes. make sure that you say what it is when you, whether it's you know a small amount number of chapters or whether it's a whole you know a whole lot of chapters yes. but you want to make sure that you're conveying that message exactly. that you that you that you know that you're trying to convey absolutely <laughs> absolutely and so you talked a little bit about the two anthologies. One was with Uncuffed, mm -hmm. and the other is with um, Labu yes. Publishing. Yes. And you have, you all have an event coming up? We do. Okay. So on March 24th all at right. um, Merlin Live in their Grand Ballroom. Mm. All right. It's going to be an awesome, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, it's going to be a book signing of twenty authors yes. that collaborated together. Congratulations! Yeah, and absolutely. It's, yes. Thank you. It's from five to eight. Uh -huh. There are still. I mean, we had a hundred tickets, hundred and twenty tickets that were free, okay. and they went like that. Wow! So she had to open up another block. So the tickets are available, but they're twenty dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. that's still reasonable. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Come in and have some snacks. Meet yes. your meet some authors. Get your book personalized and yes. autographed and that day uh, we encourage you to go yes. to Labu Publications and get a ticket on Eventbrite and join us. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Now give the, the date and where it is where, with the location. It's and March 24th. Mm -hmm. It's a Sunday. Okay. It's from 5 to 8 p.m. Yes. And it's at Merlin Live. They have, a, um, even though they have the casino, they mm -hmm. also have a brand new hotel that they just opened. Open up? Okay. So they have a ballroom. Yes. Okay. And it's going to be in their grand ballroom. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. That, yes. is, that is awesome. So please come join us. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Now, talk a little bit about your writing journey. Now, you, you hit on it, you know, when you talked about how throughout your process, God has seemed to always put that pause button in. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's the content of your writing process. But talk a little bit about the journey of going from what was in here into creating what you have mm. here. So okay. talk a little bit about, you know, did you self-publish? Did you go through a traditional publisher? Just talk a little bit about that journey. Okay. Um, I always tell people you have to find the route that's best for you yeah. when I talk to authors. Mm -hmm. My first publication, I was unsure of how these processes work because mm -hmm. it's so many things thrown at you when yes. it's time to <laughs> write a book and you have no clue. So you end up yes. writing, but you don't know what to do with it. Yes. So I actually went with a publishing company mm -hmm. when I did the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I would, it is an expensive route when you go through a publisher, I must say. Mm -hmm. um, the if you go and self publish, if mm -hmm. you decide to self publish, yes. you have to, you must. It's not even an option. Invest <laughs> in a good editor. Yeah, because that's where usually your problems are. Yeah, <laughs> you can come up with a cover. Yeah, you can bond it. You can pay for printing. But yes. if your words are off, you will lose your fan base. Absolutely. Yes. So you must invest in a good publisher. So for me, yes. I did. Um, use a publishing company for those two books okay and i probably would still do the same thing to finish the series off okay i do intend to change the cover of the books mm -hmm. but um the content i would do it again but i do recommend authors choose the path that works for them yes for some it yes. is a publishing company right. because they need for somebody to do it all for them they right. can't handle it right yeah right. and then for others who have more time and are more mm -hmm. creative then mm -hmm. yes yeah, self-publishing might be the route for you yeah. because then you have the time to sit down yeah. work it all out but some of us you know i told you i'm a mom i'm a grandma <laughs> I, work, I got the radio show That's right. i had time all the time That's to just right. sit there and work on that so for me that was the best route yes absolutely 
Yeah, and 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 I hope folks understand that too. When you when you do the when you go the non traditional, what I call being an entrepreneur, because that's yes. what what yeah, you yeah. are. Mm-hmm. You got to understand that you're doing everything. Yes, <laughs> that's dealing with the from the cover, dealing with the printer. Yeah. All it's setting up the dates like she just talked about having you have to talk to the to the event where you're trying to have your events yes. at set all of that falls on you and yes. and if that's not the route that you want to go or like you said you don't have right. time right. then you want to make sure that you that you have the time or yes. that you have someone that can add you know that can take care of that for yes. you so that it gives you frees up your time to be able to do what you want to do and it's also important it is very important that you invest <laughs> in an editor yes. <laughs> please <laughs> Please make sure that you invest in the editor because there's nothing more distracting than mm-hmm. reading a reading a book, and you're finding right. multiple errors. I mean, I, you right. can find an error, an error in any book, yeah, I believe right. it is, mm-hmm. but the least amount of errors because it will turn a reader off quick, Absolutely. fast, in a hurry. Yes. Um, before we, because we're winding down, I want you to give out your information uh, for yes. the, where people can buy your books um, to be able to, you know, to be able to support you and even to have you come out and speak too because yes. I believe you come out and speak as yes. well. So we want you to give your information out if you could where people can can uh, connect with you, contact you, and, and actually buy your books. Yes. Sure. You can go right to my website. It is pammints.com. That is P A M M I N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, Z as in Zebra dot com. All right. Talk a little bit about what's next. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting that you say that because what's next is actually um, I am working on releasing a magazine. Oh, oh wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. So in, Fe- in February, in September okay. of 2019, I plan to debut a new magazine right. entitled Love Is. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. And Love Is is based on relationships. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is focused on all types of relationships, okay. whether it is friends, yes. whether it's siblings, mm-hmm. yes. whether it's mm. parents and child, mm-hmm. or loving relationships. It's all about relationships. relationships. So look wow. for that. Sam. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yes. That's a, and, and I think that's needed, too, because people don't understand the how to navigate through relationships, mm. whether it's you know parent, yes. parent to child, <laughs> um, siblings, just any kind of e- even loving relationships and everything yes. like that. So that's awesome. That's that's yeah. awesome. That's indeed. really good. That indeed. is good. Indeed, indeed. Now we have a few minutes left, but if you had to give some words of encouragement, you touch a little bit about your testimony and mm-hmm. just in terms of having open heart surgery. Um, what that was what October, November, December, January, February, March. That was like what six months ago, mm-hmm. you know. And 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 being able to overcome that mm-hmm. and 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 work on your health and balance all of the different things that you're talking about. There may be someone watching today that's struggling, <coughs> that's dealing with a health issue or dealing with some other type of problem where they just feel it's just a bit much to bear. Given your journey and your testimony right now Mm -hmm. and and, in your victory and your walk can you share some words of encouragement sure awesome if you are dealing with any type of issue whether it's health personal financial the way to overcome it what I tell everybody is to pray yeah when people hear pray they think it's so cliche (laughs) pray (laughs) pray pray that's always what people say but when I tell you prayer seriously works yes um I share a lot of myself by way of Facebook because mm. I know that I'm helping somebody. Yes. And I always get inboxes or messages from people that say, you helped me by telling me about that. Yes. So one thing I can say is don't keep it a secret. Yes. Some people feel that they have to hurt in private. You Mm. don't necessarily have to because you never know how your hurt will not only help somebody else, but it helps you at the same time. Because Lord knows when initially the doctor said I needed a heart transplant. Mm. And to hear those words was devastating at my age. I'm 46. Mm. I'm fact, today is my birthday. Happy Uh, birthday! You didn't tell us that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You could have said happy birthday (laughs) to Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. So it's a double blessing because... You know, when you think 
think you're not going to make it another day. Yes. And you encourage people to, people say, well, is there anything I can do for you? I'm a prideful person. So I'm not going to tell people what to do for yeah. me. I'm yes. just going to say, oh, just pray for me. Yeah. Yes. And that really works. Yeah. Prayer works. I yes, went from does. 15 to 18 medications a day oh, wow. to now I only take about eight. All right. And my heart is yes. up to pumping. It started at 24%. I'm now 47%. Yes. So awesome. when you are determined to live, mm. it's about you having yes. a sense of determination. Yes. So once you get in your mind, I always say determination, you know, it goes ah. like the same thing about when you like, when you want to go to school, yeah. you got to want to go to do it. Yes. When you want to lose weight, you got to want to lose weight for it to actually happen <laughs> or you'll fall back. So That's when you right. want to be healed, when you want to have financial blessings, you got to want to have it in order for it to happen. Yes. Come on now. So I encourage yes. you and you, whomever's listening yes. that needs a few words, pray and yes. then be determined that you're going to get there. Ha, absolutely. Word. What a word. Well, absolutely. What absolutely. a word. Woo. Thank you so real much. Quick, yes. look, no, um, no, real quick. Real quick. Um, out of your books, what message do you want people to get ah. after reading? Come reading from whether it's the 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 single book, the single ladies, or <laughs> or, or, the, or the or the anthologies that you are that you are part of. What's what's the 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 Pam Pam uh, family yeah, takeaways yeah. from it? Well, the Pam takeaway from the Say Single Sister is that you're not alone. Ah. Mm. Absolutely, there are other women that are going through exactly what you're going through. Mm. It's not just you by yourself. So yeah. we're all in this fight. Yeah. So realize that you are not alone. Mm -hmm. When you read these other books, mm -hmm. I want you to realize that when God says so, he means it. Mm. Ah, so I when, like regardless of what is <laughs> happening in your life, if he said it, he meant it. Yes. So I started here as a saved single sister, mm -hmm. but when I got here, I'm now engaged and about to get married. Yes. So it's about saying <laughs> so. Yes. And yes. when God says so, it, it is, is so. so. <laughs> that's right. I know that's right. Yes. <laughs> well, I want you to give for our viewing audience, you will have a chance to meet Pam Mintz live and in person with about 19 other authors yes. in March. Give that date again. Give the information mm -hmm. and your contact information as well. One more time. Sure. The event will take place on March 24th, 2019 from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m at Merlin Live in the Grand Ballroom. You will meet all 20 authors. If you want to get tickets, you can go to Labu Publishing and there is an Eventbrite link on that website. If you want to reach me personally, yeah. you can go to my website at pammintz.com and you can find out how to order my books as well as to get me full speaking engagements. All right. Absolutely. All right. So thank you again. That yes. is really awesome. Yeah. And for you to share your birthday with us. <laughs> no, right? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and Leroy, you know it's always a pleasure to co-host with absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. We, we just have fun. Have fun having a conversation and, and bringing people people like this Absolutely. that can inspire them that can that can uh have them to be able to just understand that reading is is um is an important thing in our lives yes so. and reading the word of god absolutely more so yes. and so i want to thank you our viewing audience and our listening audience for tuning in to the caot tv show we are here every friday live from 9 30 a.m until 10 a.m Eastern Standard Time on the WBGR Gospel Network. A shout out to Lionel Green and his crew Absolutely. for always making us look good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and just want to remind you, if you are a Christian author and you want to be in the red seat with us, either Pastor Kevin Wayne Johnson or Leroy McKenzie Jr. and myself, you can go to our website, caotv.blogspot.com to get more information about author submissions. We also have the CAOT uh, the Christian Authors on Tour blog talk radio show, right. which you can um, get in contact with Mitzi Kurskulo and go to ChristianAuthorsOnTour.com, click on the CAOT TV radio tab. And with that, that's a wrap. <laughs> God bless everybody. <laughs>